What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the WBO welterweight world champion, who is widely considered the best pound-for-pound -pound boxer in the world. Terrence Bud Crawford made a lot of headlines this week, not only because he had a massive showdown with former IBF welterweight world champion, British superstar boxer special K. Kel Brook, this past Saturday night, November 14th, in which he stopped Kell Brook via fourth round in dramatic fashion. With that said, uh, his promoter, legendary promoter, top-ranked CEO, Bob Arum, has some interesting things to say regarding Terrence Crawford and promoting Terrence Crawford and the lack thereof of promotion and the lack thereof revenue coming in uh, for Terrence Crawford. Uh, Bob Arum stated that Terrence Crawford, in his last three fights, made them lose more money then they gain and that he could build a house, a mansion in Beverly Hills for the money he's lost on Terrence Crawford. With that said, you know, uh, that went viral. Uh, we had everybody chiming in, including uh, promoters. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, he chimed in. Floyd Mayweather stated that he gave the blueprint to uh, Terrence Crawford, you know, when he left. Uh, obviously, we saw Oscar De La Hoya leave top rank. We saw Miguel Cotto, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. Recently, Mikey Garcia. There's a lot of uh, tons of guys that left top rank, um, and they all started with top rank. Eventually, and they they gar they garnered more money, more stardom uh, after they left top rank. Right. With that said, uh, also we saw undefeated, unified WBC, IBF welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Earl True Spence Jr. go back and forth. Well, I don't want to say go back and forth. He did an interview. Uh, on Sirius XM Radio with Akin Barak, and he stated that he feels like he's doing all the heavy lifting for this massive showdown between him and uh, Terrence Crawford. Obviously, that's the biggest fight in the sport of boxing, uh, and he's fighting the bigger names. He's doing the bigger numbers on pay-per-view. He's the biggest star, so he deserves a 60-40 split uh, if and when they come to uh, the negotiation table. Terrence Crawford uh, countered that and responded by saying 60-40 split has to go in my favor because I've accomplished far more than Errol Spence accomplished in a short period of time in his little career, is what Terrence Crawford had to say. Uh, regarding Bob Arum's comments, Terrence Crawford said that Bob Arum could let him go right now. If he don't feel like I'm profitable, he don't feel like he could promote me, then he could let me go right now, is what Terrence Crawford had to say. Terrence Crawford stated that, um, you know, uh, he was upset when he heard what Bob Arum had to say, right? Uh, he stated that, you know, um, uh, uh, he's the best f fighter in the world. Bob Arum stated that Terrence Crawford is the best fighter in the world, but he absolutely will not go broke promoting Bob Arum. Uh, Terrence Crawford is seen as the best fighter in the world, widely considered. We had Dana White, UFC CEO, founder, and president, uh, he came out, he said that he went absolutely ripped into Bob Arum. He stated that um, Bob Arum, you know, uh, you know, is is that was a horrible move on the part of Bob Arum with, all, with Terrence Crawford having the skill set and how good Terrence Crawford is, so on and so forth. He was raving about Terrence Crawford. Uh, we also had uh, um, Eddie Hearn, natural CEO and promoter. He came out and he had some interesting things to say. Uh, he wasn't short on words when it came to, you know, um, uh, him. Uh, and his take on this situation with Terrence Crawford and Bob Arum. Uh, Terrence Crawford stated that Bob Arum could let him go ASAP, right? Um, but it seems like Terrence Crawford now has had a change of heart. Terrence Crawford has had a change of heart in a, dr in a dramatic way, okay? Uh, Terrence Crawford now states that he cannot blame Bob Arum. Originally, let's listen to what Terrence Crawford had to say regarding this situation between himself and Bob Arum. Let's just listen to what he had to say when he said it, that Bob Arum could let him go right now. He also said he didn't need Errol Spence either. Terrence Crawford had that to say. He said he didn't need Errol Spence. Uh, he stated that, you know, uh, everybody keeps saying that he needs Errol Spence for his career, but he don't feel like he needs Errol Spence for his career. Uh, so he feels like, you know... Um, uh, um, you know, he never did. How important at this point in your career, bud, is the Errol Spence fight? Like, legacy fights. It's not that important. 
So this is the part where he's talking about Errol Spence and the importance of Errol Spence. Uh, the fight, the legacy says Errol Spence needs him, but that's not what I want this to get to. Uh, I, I want to talk. I want to talk about what he said regarding Bob Arum, right? Uh, let's listen to what he said about Bob Arum. That's what's important here. You know what I mean? He can release me now. You know what I mean? Like, he can just release me. If you feel like you don't, you don't have no, you know what I mean? I'm not an asset to your company. You know what I mean? You can release me right now. You don't You don't have to wait till after a Spence fight. Why do you have to wait till after a Spence fight? You know what I mean? So, release me now that you, you don't have to lose any money. So he was saying that uh, Bob Arum is waiting until after the Errol Spence fight. Uh, he don't have to wait till after the Errol Spence fight. He could absolutely release him right now. Now Terrence Crawford has since um, released a statement regarding everything taking place uh, between himself and Bob Arum. And uh, Terrence Crawford, you know, forgives Bob Arum in so many words, right? Uh, Terrence Crawford had this to say regarding it. He says, we may have a disagreement right now, but we're going to get it figured out. I can't bash Bob Arum when I know deep down in my heart that Bob really is a good dude and he really did try everything he can to make these fights happen when I, uh, the fights I was asking for. So Terrence Crawford had that to say. But let's just go back a few days and let's look at what Terrence Crawford's lawyer had to say when he stated that uh, they contacted Top Rank to um, express their... Uh, um, the fact that they're not being promoted in the manner that they they, they should be, and that um, they express their this this, this uh, pleasure with how they're being treated. This is what they had to say. Quote: uh, uh, Reportedly, Terence Crawford's relationship and Top Rank's relationship is estranged. Right? Terence Crawford attorney sent a letter to Top Rank airing grievances, including frustration at not having a big money breakthrough fight. And uh, they're looking forward to their contract expiring in October 2021. So now Terrence Crawford is saying that he forgives Bob Arum. He can't hold it against Bob Arum. He's, um, you know, uh, he's saying that Bob Arum deep down is looking to make these fights. But in the same token, you have Terrence Crawford's lawyer stating that they they contacted Bob Arum and top rank and, uh, you know, um, and let it, let it be known their grievances over... Terrence Crawford not being able to secure these big fights. Now Terrence Crawford is stating that, well, uh, he understands and he uh, he knows deep down that Bob Arum truly was looking to make these big fights happen. This is where the disconnect comes in between Terrence Crawford, the fans and the boxing pundits, the journalists and such, right? Uh, you want these big fights. You're saying that these big fights are eluding you. But what they're doing is they're promoting it as... The, the PBC, Premier Boxing Champions, fighters, welterweights, who are all pretty much on the verge of being Hall of Famers, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, and Errol Spence, and Manny Pacquiao, these are the fights you're looking to make, right? Manny Pacquiao, for one, is the guy you've been trying to secure for years now. For the better part of three years, Terrence Crawford has been trying to secure a fight with Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao was, was signed to top rank and Bob Arum and HBO and ESPN. And Bob Arum stated that he himself blocked the fight from happening. Terrence Crawford was told that uh, Manny Pacquiao was pricing himself out, asking for the 20 million, according to Bob Arum. Then Bob Arum stated that he himself prevented Terrence Crawford legacy fight against Manny Pacquiao because Bob Arum says that Manny Pacquiao was a close friend of his and he didn't want to see Manny Pacquiao get hurt. So he said that he blocked the fight from happening. Now Terrence Crawford, to this day, YTD, is still looking to land the Pacquiao fight after Pacquiao left top rank, got the money he was looking for in the Adrian Brown and Keith Thurman fight. Now he's still chasing that fight with Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao has since left. But you're saying that Bob Arum did everything he could to make the fight happen? Seems like Bob Arum did everything he could to not make the fight happen. Because you're still chasing that fight three years later. And he has left, since left top rank. You couldn't get the fight with top rank. Now he's left top rank and you're still trying to get the fight. But you're saying that Bob Arum did everything he could to try to make these fights. But everybody 
on the top rank side, you have Andre Ward and Timothy Bradley stating that it's these fighters that don't want to make the fights with Terrence Crawford. Now you have Sean Porter, who is Terrence Crawford's mandatory for the WBO, and they don't even make mention of him in the whole buildup for the Kell Brook fight. Act like Sean Porter didn't even exist. When Sean Porter stated that he contacted Terrence Crawford and looking to make a fight happen between him and Terrence Crawford, and Terrence Crawford told him he had bigger plans, and if those plans fell through, then he would revisit a possibility of facing Sean Porter. The plans fell through because those big plans was, according to Bob Merrill, that they had a deal already signed and agreed upon to fight Manny Pacquiao verbally overseas, but the Board of Health stepped in and stated that they can't guarantee they could allow fans in attendance to be able to pay the gate, to have the gate and the revenue to be able to pay the purses for Manny Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford. So it fell through. But then they didn't revisit Sean Porter. They went the route of Kell Brook, in whom they didn't have to pay a ton of money like they would have to pay. 1.5 is what they was offering Kell Brook, according to reports. You can't pay Sean Porter 1.5. So that's the reason why when you put one and one together, that's why they didn't revisit the Sean Porter fight. Not to mention Bob Arum stated that Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, your Dana Sugis, and Keith Thurman weren't worth negotiating with because they want more money than they're actually worth. So is it that they don't want the fights or is it that Bob Arum don't want to pay the money to make these fights happen? So when... Terrence Crawford is saying that Bob Arum is doing everything he can to make these fights happen. I'm confused because Bob Arum completely just said, blatantly just said that he blocked the Pacquiao fight. Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia are not worth negotiating for, for fights. The only fight, the only fighter they're worth negotiating with Al Heyman is for Errol Smith's fight. And we know he said he blocked the Pacquiao fight. So when Terrence Crawford says that he knows Bob Arum did everything, no, it's, it's starting to seem like Terrence Crawford is completely satisfied with where he's at. He's comfortable in that position. And so he's he's good with them blaming the, the entire buildup was. Now listen to this. They said they the entire buildup for Kel Brook kept showing Danny Garcia, Errol Spence, Manny Pacquiao, and Keith Thurman. Guys that from the PBC that was avoiding Terrence Crawford. But in the same token, they had Manny Pacquiao there. But Bob Arum told the world that Manny Pacquiao had a, a, a agreed to fight Terrence Crawford. But it was the Board of Health that stepped in. So why did you use Terrence, Manny Pacquiao for the promotion as he was avoiding Terrence Crawford fight? Continuously. On... It kept it kept playing, kept kept playing on repeat. But you said that he agreed to this fight, but it was the Board of Health that stepped in and said that the Manny Pacquiao fight couldn't take place. Not Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao agreed to fight him. Sean Porter agreed that he would be willing to fight him. Keith Thurman said, "Give me ten million, and I'll make the let's make the fight happen." So why do they continue to tell the world that they don't want to make these fights? And then Terrence Crawford, after saying "release me," less than twenty four hours ago, comes out and now he states that. He forgives Bob Arum. They had a little crossroads, but they'll hash it out because he knows that Bob Arum wants to really make these fights. I mean, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Boy Sports TV. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Boy Sports TV or one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.